What is up guys, back here with another video. Yes, before you mention, hair is very messy. Um, the, hair, the barbers have been shut for like four months now, same with the gym, so got my hair booked in for next week. Um, so very keen for that. But today this video is gonna be a Q&A. Been meaning to do this for a while, but just kind of lost track of time and not a lot of motivation to do anything um, in terms of the YouTube since there's not a lot I can record because um, it's very boring at the moment. Um, but the gym's open on Monday, so two days from now. So from then on out, content will be popping. I'll at least try to do one video a week. Uh, maybe sometimes two, just depends how much time I've got. And I've got a powerlifting competition, a novice um, powerlifting competition coming up on 19th of December. So I'll be starting prep for that on Monday. So I'm very keen, so it be good to have you guys along. Alrighty, first question. Is motivation or dedication more important? I feel like with these, it's kind of too, I guess you can't really compare them. I feel like motivation is too many people rely on motivation, like motivation sources like a video or music, like even myself, sometimes I'm very guilty of it. But I guess it really comes down to how much you want it and your discipline, like I, I get you can be, you can lack motivation, you just don't feel like doing anything. Like I said, I feel that myself. There's so many days you just get out of bed, you're like, nah, screw this, this is, nah, no, what's the point? And then other days you're like, I could climb the, I could climb the tallest mountain in the world because you just, that motivated, it's, just, it's really hit and miss, but it, it really comes down, the difference between someone who is successful and someone who's not is the person who's successful will do the shit they do when they're motivated, when they're not motivated. Like, it doesn't matter how they're feeling that day, they get in there, especially in terms of the gym, they get in there, they get their shit done, and that's all there is to it. There's, you're not gonna have, you're not gonna have a great day every day, man. If, if some of you do, well, I'm very envious, because <laughs> that's very rare to come across. But, um, and then in terms of dedication, again, it's just how, how disciplined and how disciplined you are, how much you want it, will determine your dedication to to whatever goal you're, you're achieving. So in my my case, um, in terms of fitness in the gym, now that, especially now that I have a comp that I'm prepping for, I'm very channeled in on working towards that comp. And it's just I've fired up so many years of me that I'm just like, I wanna get this done, I wanna be the best on the day. It's all this overwhelming emotion and it's good because you, you gotta have something to work towards, even if it's, Something as simple, you want to get leaner, or you want to get a, you want to get bigger. You really just got to focus, but you got to have short-term goals. Like so many people, are like that's a waste of time. Just think of the long term. Like obviously, you got to have a long-term goal, have that in the back of your head. But you need short-term goals and milestones to reach, so you feel like you're getting something. Like for me, if my long-term goal is to deadlift 300, bench 200, whatever, something like that. If I don't have little goals, I'm not going to feel like I'm getting any there because that's going to take a very long time to get to. And if I'm just focused on, like, it, again, it really depends on the person. Like if you're just channeled in on that long-term goal and you can go through it without kind of missing a beat, then great, go for it. But I really feel like having short-term goals definitely helps. What supplements do you, you use or recommend? Definitely uh, protein, pre-workout, BCAAs. These, these are supplements. If you base your whole diet and everything off these, you're not gonna get anywhere. They're, well, as the name suggests, supplementing your diet and your training. And for example, protein, it's just a quick and easy way to fill up your macros. And just to like, after gym, have a shake, down it, easy. 20, 30 grams of protein done. Um, pre-workout, I'm a big pre-workout user because I feel like I really need it to get the push in every single session. But again, if you can go without pre-workout, go without pre-workout because it's very hard to kind of get out of that routine unless you well, But again, if you want to push yourself to that next level and really try to kick up the gears, then you can start off um, on pre-workout. Maybe something, start off like slow with something like C4, just to, or um, Body Science have one. Um, just to really test your tolerance and see because some people have very bad reactions to it and others just thrive off it and BCAAs again 
I used to use them a fair bit, not as much. I just started again. It's really good for me for an intra workout. Uh, just to sip on while, while you're working out, just kind of help help push that last extra rep or just keep you keep you hydrated so you don't crash towards the end of your session because a lot of people will will like take pre-workout before a session, get really hyped up, have a good session, then about halfway through they start to crash and just they finish finish off really bad and it just ruins the rest of it ruins the whole whole day. How to not give in to cravings. I I have a massive sweet tooth and you put a block of chocolate or a brownie in front of me gone within seconds easy but again but kind of relays back to that first question it depends how much you want it would you just say a chocolate you gotta have a chocolate would you rather have that and then take two steps back or not have it and keep going forward because again people will say it's okay to have snacks and that it, it is if you um, portion it correctly then you can have those little snacks and treat yourself. But again, it depends how much you want it. Like if you're in a bodybuilding competition and you're prepping, it's, you really have no room for any cheat meals or anything because you need to be your 100% best on that day. And if you're not, because you had these cheat meals and unnecessary things, you could say, imagine if I didn't have that. Imagine if I did this, did that. So, but for me, how I don't give in cravings, sometimes it's really hard. Especially in lockdown, it's easy just go on phone, Uber Eats, boom, it's at your door in 10, 20 minutes. I've done it a lot. Again, it's just, it's human nature, just want something convenient. But again, it depends how much you want it. And I, throughout this lockdown, I didn't have much of a goal. I just wanted to keep working out and stay somewhat fit. But again, no absolute goal. And now that I do, I feel like it'll be real easy to not give in to those cravings. So again, it depends how much you want it and have a goal in place that you want to work towards. Tips for trying to eat healthy while being a picky eater. Again, it just comes down to that because I I used to be a massive picky, picky eater. Ask anyone I know to be chicken nuggets and chips. That's me, me done. And a block of chocolate and I'm, I'm done. Wouldn't eat anything else so bad. Uh, like not eggs, broccoli, anything like that. Just it'd be chicken or nothing or I'll go without. But again, it depends how much you want it and how much you, yeah, just how much you want it and have that goal in mind. And honestly, just try new things. You'd be surprised about what you do like and that you never knew because you just simply didn't, didn't give it a try. Like you just, honestly, you never know until you have it. But there are some foods where you have more than three times and you're just like, nah, this, this is not for me. And again, you want to work, you, the best diet you can have is one that you can stick to, not what old mate over here says or old girl over there says. Because there's so many people nowadays, I'll put up a diet, say this is what I follow. You do, you eat this, you look like me and everyone's like, sweet. They eat that, they don't look like them. All motivation and dedication lost. And they're like, it just didn't work for me. I hated this, I hated that. So again, you've got to work what, what works for you because everybody is different. What is your why, as in what is driving you to succeed? Honestly, I just see so many people get to the end of their life and are just depressed and didn't do what they want to do in life simply because they told they couldn't or they went with what's normal in society. And I just don't really want that. I want the best for me, for my friends, my family, my kids when I, when I start my own family and just wake up every day and go to a job or do something that genuinely makes me happy and then I can help others, especially in this fitness industry. I'm currently studying my Cert 3 and once I finish that, I'll do my Cert 4 in fitness and I feel like that would be great for me because I love helping people and I've always wanted to, but I've never really had kind of the facts or anything behind me. I've just done what I've researched on, but now that I know exactly what I'm talking about, it'll just, be so much better I could actually help people know what I'm talking about really push them especially being a personal trainer or in that fitness industry but again just I just want to be the best me and live every day to you really just got to make make it seem like every day is your last day on this earth because what well, one day you might wake up and it's true There's so many people are losing their lives nowadays and the day before they would have no idea it was going to and they had massive plans for, for the weeks, years, everything to come, and it just goes like that. And so I don't want to be in that position. I want to make sure I live a life that I'm happy, that I lived, 
and I've done everything I wanted to do because you really only get a one life and I don't know, the older I get, especially now being 20, it's kind of kicked in. I'm like, damn, I'm actually 20 now. Like, life's going really quick. Feels like just yesterday I was 15, 10, just being a child, not worrying about anything. Now starting to become an adult and it gets pretty scary. What's the move for the next coming years? Where do you see yourself? Honestly, at the moment, just really focus on my fitness and um, my powerlifting and even maybe, um, because I did a lot of bodybuilding, I've never been that serious into it again, just with my diet, no real goals. So I might eventually go back into that, or even power building, which is a mix between powerlifting, bodybuilding, if you couldn't guess. For the next few years, just really try to, for especially my finances, uh, just really try to get a good savings and some money behind me, really focus on my fitness, get that um, really to where I, where, where I want to be. Realistically, obviously, in a few years, I don't want to be the strongest person on earth in three years because I don't really think that's going to happen. But later down the track, who knows? Never know. What do you do in your spare time while in lockdown? <sighs> Netflix, Disney Plus, PlayStation 4, working out, those, and sleep. <laughs> There's literally not a lot you can do because I live in Sydney and we've been in lockdown for four months now. And you can't, you can't leave your house for the sake of leaving your house. You can go for a walk, which is what I've done a lot. Um, you can't just go out and do whatever like you need a reason to leave your house and there's so many people i know that i've seen that just aren't adhering they're breaking the laws and i'm just like i get that it can be a hard time and they just want to leave and go see their family or friends or do something but at the end of the day i'm just doing what's right and just staying at my place unless i go to work or go to work out but pretty much that's it well now i've got my cert three that i'm studying um doing this youtube obviously i haven't done a lot but just really trying to keep myself busy, busy like that. But yeah, it's a lot of, definitely a lot of Netflix and Disney Plus because sometimes, I don't know, sometimes I feel guilty because I'm always playing games or watching movies. But again, in a position like this, there's not a lot you can do. I, it's, I really have to stop myself from going insane. Otherwise, that won't help anyone. <laughs> so yeah, so that's it for the questions. Um, I will be trying to get one video out a week and maybe two. I'll just see how I am from now till my powerlifting comp. Um, I'll just really try to focus in on that and just stay consistent. And I will be training by myself. So it'll be camera on a tripod. A lot of the footage will be kind of standstill, but I'll try to make it as interesting as possible. Not some long videos of me doing the one set all the way down and up, just boring stock footage. I'll try, I'll try my best to keep that interesting. But definitely stay along for the ride, and hopefully when I come to the come to the comp, I can perform really well, and then that can be who knows the start of something new. Uh, but yeah, uh, so that's it for the video for now. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.